Well, don't worry, Tony, because up next, Governor Jesse Ventura is here to talk about Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my this God. Is fucking the craziest. This is the craziest <laughs> shit ever. Dude. Not not me finding out it's a three hour raw draft episode, <laughs> but also Vince McMahon propaganda the whole fucking show with a video package. Holy shit, man! Here is Jesse Ventura. Oh my sitting- fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting in a room, and he's. This is U.S. Navy SEAL's yellow t-shirt and a hat and the messiest hair you could imagine. Jesse, <laughs> dude, Jesse the Body Ventura has 500 <laughs> confirmed <laughs> kills <laughs> in the U.S. Navy SEALs. I'm a Navy SEAL. And McMahon, you're next. <laughs> Mr. McMahon, I want to say to you first, Mr. is only a term I use for very few people. Fuck you, the people Vince. I use- the people I use it on were officers. I served under in the U.S. underwater demolition <laughs> team. <laughs> I was ready to fucking wring some necks having to watch this shit. The Jesse the, the Body US Ventura demolition seal U.S. Team. Navy SEAL propaganda with Vince so McMahon. McMahon. You haven't earned that title of me yet. We were feeding you as McMahon like I used to back in 1990. <laughs> what kind of tribute is this to what you've done? Remarkable. But then again, dictators always do some <laughs> remarkable things. The WWE isn't exactly a democracy that we see in the United States. You are a dictator, but a benevolent one either. <laughs> All dictators will and do fall. I've met with dictator. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. I've met with the dictator of the world. And I don't see no beard on you, McMahon. You know the dictator. 500 confirmed. (laughs) Fuck. Dude, dude, I was in the ocean. (laughs) Scuba Jesse. (laughs) Dude, would you ever kill me? We met the dictator and dictator (laughs) of the world. Uh, but next up, we have Steve-O. Yeah, Steve. from that jackass. And I guess Steve-O <laughs> wasn't really given the, the 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 Iggy here about, you know, what this was meant to be and for cool. Mr. Man Appreciation Night. Yeah, he's like, whoa, Vince, I want to thank you. Uh, you know, I love watching people get beat up. Uh, and, you know, I got a, I got a poem here for you. Uh, don't make me... Don't make me make you kick Don't my ass. Don't talk to me. I'll murder you. <laughs> <laughs> my lips write checks that my butt can't cash, and that means I'm ready for you, Vince. Uh, I'm kidding. Thanks for the entertainment. You're the man. Yeah. Holy fuck. All right. Holy fuck, dude. Raw is- I want it. Dude, I want it to. What, all, think of every like horrible jackass thing. Like I wanted all of them to happen to me in this fucking <laughs> second here. I was I was watching this, and for some reason, I just had the urge to stick a little toy car up my ass, and it would be yeah. way more fun than this. We're rocking. I like that. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. D Trump no. has some things to no. say here tonight. Miss Rugman Appreciation Night. Donald Trump is here to. Say some words here, and uh, Trump says it's pathetic that you'd give yourself an appreciation night. He goes crazy on Vince here. He says, "Who the hell are you?" <laughs> Bobby Lashley took down Umaga, and Lashley represented me. You had a choice. You took Umaga. Look what happened to you. It was pretty pathetic. I've never seen anything like it. Appreciation night. I think I'm going to give myself an appreciation night in my own company. Nani? That one didn't age quite so well. The fan. This is a crazy ending line. The fans don't like what you're doing. They're not happy. Good luck, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Thank you. That's insane. Jeez. Yeah, really. That is fucking he said crazy. what I was it's thinking. Insane. The fans, we don't like you, Vince, and we don't like what you're doing. Exactly. Well, all those kids in the front row were thoroughly enjoying this show. Well, okay, so they show Santino and MVP walking through the hallway, and then they show a graphic for 
Iron Sheik and Superfly <laughs> Jimmy Snook, and I said, "Holy fuck, are they wrestling on this show?" That's awesome. I thought it was. I thought it was Iron Sheik versus Jimmy Snook. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I thought I was like, "Who? What brands are these representing?" This is awesome. I can't wait to see this. Sadly, it was not. Jimmy Snook says, "Vince McMahon, there's only one thing the Superfly want to say to you, brother. I appreciate all those years with you and your father. Uh, when I watch that TV, I know something isn't right, brother. That cuckoo bird is, you know. I want to know why you're different, brother. I don't understand." And the Irish Sheik said, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame the Kennedy McMahon cuckoo or crazy because I watched the match between Mr. Donald Trump and the richest man and they attack Mr. McMahon from behind and they double cross him, cut his hair. That is why he go cuckoo. Kennedy McMahon, you play rocket ball with me. You're still <laughs> great athlete. <laughs> I can't believe you understood this. I could not hear a word you were saying. <laughs> I had her captions on. Honestly, oh, okay. I had no clue. Yeah. I, had, I, wrote, I have no idea one word. He, all I heard was cuckoo. That's it. Kennedy McMahon, you play rock and ball with me. <laughs> Iron Sheik is like fucking chained out crazy. Got Dragon Zord power coin type shit going on. Dude, this on. is an unbelievable gut on this guy. I've never seen such a thing. It looks like they inflated him before the segment. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time for Bret Hart. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a crazy one. Uh, the, the first thing I another, before Bret Hart came on, I was hoping you'd say, "Hey Vince, you got one of these." <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of does. <laughs> he kind of does that. Uh, so it's Mr. Man appreciating that Bret Hart in a gym. Is it his gym? Is he just in a random gym? He looks like is he was in the, the Hitman's gym. always working out. Sure, that's true. He looked good. Bret says, uh, well, "What do I think about Mr. Man's appreciation night?" I can't find the words to express such deep gratitude for a guy like Vince McMahon. I'm sure I'm not the only one trying to find the right words. There's no real good way to express those words. There's only one thing better than that, and that's one of these <laughs> outside the job. <laughs> he raised his fist and he said, the only thing better would be another one. If you got 30 or 40 fists. 30 or 40 fists <laughs> is crazy. That's, that's, even, that's even better. Be that's the best thing that could happen McMahon to Vince McMahon. what I'm going to do. Yeah. Fist him. 40 fists in Vince's ass. <laughs> this is classic the, Brett pose, by the way. He's got that the, uh, the elbow elbow on the knee. Yeah, one foot yeah. up. <laughs> classic yeah, yeah. Brett. So that's the best thing that could happen to Vince McMahon. And that's all I got to say about that asshole. <laughs> Brett, of cool. course, best promo on the show. Not surprised. Very cool. He looked good here, too. So he like, did. Oh, he looked great. Look Captain Lou Albano is here. In Florida, What's probably. What's going on here? What's that? <laughs> what, was, what the fuck happened here? He says, Vince has got the brain of a dehydrated baby. <laughs> All right. He's no, he's not dealing with a full deck, and I, I say he's got it together. I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. I know McMahon. I've known him since he was a kid, and he, he's still a little kid. And I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right. And often intimidated, never duplicated. And I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. And so fine. Ah, so good. And I'm Captain Lou. Fuck. I'm, I'm talking to you, of course. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Captain Lou, I'm just trying to finish this show up. I'm just trying to talk to you here. And I'm Captain Lou. Captain Lou, I'm trying to get You go to hell and die. Okay, so now Stone Cold Steve Austin is here. <laughs> Stone Cold says, Oh, it's Vince McMahon Appreciation Day. Are you kidding me? Since I drove this far, I guess I could uh, I could say I appreciate the opportunity. I got to drive a beer truck to the ring in Philadelphia and spray your silly ass with beer. That was awesome. I, I appreciate the time you drove your convertible to Nassau Coliseum when I filled that thing with cement and busted out your windows. <laughs> I appreciate the time I got to play Dr. Old Dr. Stone Cold. He does say that, I, Old Dr. Stone Cold. <laughs> and I bashed your head in with that bedpan. And I guess I can I can thank you for the opportunity for jumping off that Zamboni. I jumped off the hood of it and opened a can of whoop-ass on your sorry ass. But above and beyond that, I don't appreciate a goddamn thing you did for anybody. When I taught, <laughs> when I walked in the door in 1995, you son of a bitch, <laughs> all you did was see fit to fuck me over, <laughs> yank away every title I want from you. You're a fucking piece of shit, <laughs> and in my eyes, you're a lying sack of shit, and that's the bottom line, because don't go said so. I think he says fuck you at the end, too, does he? I don't know. Fuck you, yeah. But, uh, that's awesome. Johnny's not exaggerating. He says all of that. He says all those curses 
curse words and they bleep There's it out. Some might be wrong, but he definitely he definitely says all he did was see fit to fuck me over. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he says fuck. Or, yeah, it's like censored the way through, but uh, you know, it's you could kind of tell by sure, yeah. the sentences. Yeah, <laughs> that was my first. Fuck <laughs> You're me a over. fucking piece of shit. That was awesome. <laughs> So it cuts to Gorilla and uh, Vince is walking through uh, as everyone is standing around. <laughs> you know, as they do. <laughs> they they all stand in a line with a space open in between them waiting for someone to walk by. And all the, you know, all the stars are here like super crazy and Deuce and Domino <laughs> and Sylvain Grenier. <laughs> Vince walks down the fucking aisle he takes a left, and as he takes a left, on the right-hand side of the screen is Paul London. <laughs> the happiest he has ever been in his he life. Could, he could not have been fucking happier. Gigantic smile on his face. In his, Everyone's in their gear, by the way. Because they're getting ready to get picked to go out. <laughs> of course. Paul London has never smiled this big ever in his life. No. No. <laughs> craziest smile man yeah it's, it's, it's like a see like it's a serious it's like he planted the bomb that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> so uh as he walks to the left he gets down and coachman runs after him and he stops vince and he says vince 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 your limo is the other way you're going the wrong way which what the fuck was vince contemplating not blowing up tonight is that what that was trying to be i think uh Dr I, dramatic he scene there yeah maybe uh maybe you'll be able to shine some light on this uh in the observers or something or a sure little more. but there, I, there's a bit but there's nothing like because obviously this doesn't last sure yeah yeah you're right <laughs> uh, but so vince mcmahon turns around and then starts walking the other way and of course he walks by more of the wwe superstars <laughs> of course the roster <laughs> Who are all looking as natural as ever, you know, with their fucking gear on, <laughs> standing in a line. Uh, so the Stooges are there with a cup of coffee, and uh, Vince then walks out the door. Yes, he takes one last look behind him, deep breath, walks out, walks out the door, and takes in a deep breath of air as he goes outside, and he starts to walk to the limo. And All two the sound guys has on just stopped, by the way. It's just outside yes. sound now. Uh, right, yeah. So it's there's two guys sitting on a trunk out there eating snacks. One guy has an eagle's hat. Go birds. <laughs> is uh, he really? I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, because it's in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vince. So Vince is walking, and he stops. He turns back and looks at these two guys who are no selling them. They're just enjoying their snacks. They're probably eating a peanut chew. A long day. Yeah, it's been a long shitty hours. show. <laughs> That's what they're probably talking about. That's probably what he heard him say too. He's like, "What do you, what'd you say?" That's what they said in the bank. It's been a long, shitty day. This, yeah, they, sh this show sucks. Yeah, this, this is a horrible show. I hope Vince kills him. <laughs> 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 so he does back Sorry. around and he starts walking towards the limo again. <laughs> <laughs> It's like in Metal Gear, you just throw a penny yeah. at the floor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> tap on the wall. Dun, dun. Yeah. Huh? Uh. <laughs> the exclamation point comes up across your head. Huh? <laughs> no, it must have been nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so Vince then gets to the limo. Correct. And he hesitates to open the door. Oh. Vince hesitates to open the door. Because he's contemplating. If he wants to be in this he car said, with Jesse. There's Victoria. like a one in a million chance there's down by near. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, there's no way. There's no fucking there way. There's no fucking here, way I mean, there's dynamite. I mean, those, dynamite I mean, those guys just told them told me that they wanted me to kill myself and hope this limo blows up, but there's there's no there's way. There's no there way. That's a coincidence. And like there's just no way. So one foot out, and then Vince puts the foot in and he closes the door and it explodes because there was dynamite. <laughs> Dynamite! AEW <laughs> wins again. Yeah. <laughs> so the limo explodes into uh, uh, smithereens. This is a explosion like no other. They blow this some bitch up. It's awesome. It fucking it explodes. Is it's cool on explosion. fire. Yeah. The last thing you see before the show ends is for more information, go to WWE.com. Next up, we have Mike the Balls Mazanian, and he is. <laughs> <laughs> 